Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we're going to spend some time talking about some of the updates to um, Google Classroom in the last couple of weeks. The first one um, that I want to focus on is that now, um, under the stream, this does not work for classwork, but under the stream, we have our move to the top back. Okay, so remember, we used to have this move to the top um, button here. Well, now it's back, so if I was to press that, I could automatically move things all the way to the top, okay? Kind of a great feature to have when your stream gets really, really long. You can just move things to the top by just going to the to the three little um, dots and just going to um, selecting move to the top, okay? That's the first one. The second one, it's under settings, and if I go to the cogwheel, the settings button, you will see that I have options to change the name of my class. This is important, especially for um, us teachers that are creating classes directly from Aries, because um, when you do that, Aries just gives it a very genetic name, biology one, right, or um, third grade. So if you wanted to make it more specific, you can actually go in here under class details and change the name. You can add a description, you can add a section, a room, so this gives you more control on the way your class looks. Um, notice that under the stream, I have a drop down arrow and if I click on it, I can see all the details that I wrote under my settings, okay? So that's um, a new feature. Um, another feature under our uh, settings or cogwheel is that uh, if you remember before, we had to give our students a code to join the class. Well, because of our integration with Aries, that's not longer the case. So you can actually disable this if you want to. So if you didn't, if you didn't want to have the code um, so that students that are not in your class are joining by mistake, you could disable that, okay? The other one um, that you have is um, anytime that you create something on classwork, assignments or links and so on and so on, it automatically shows on the stream. So um, over here, you have the option to change that. If you wanted to, to hide the notifications for classwork, you could do that. If you wanted to attach everything details, the, the whole thing, you can have that there. Or if you wanted to show just a condensed notification of what you created on the classwork, that is also there, okay? And finally, um, our guardian summaries, you can actually turn that on or turn that off if you want to. And um, those are some of the new updates for Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Um, I also forgot to mention that these um, features are also available on the mobile versions for both iOS and Android. Have a great day. Thank you.